Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with a screenwriter's rant on Uncharted based on the video game starring Tom Holland and Marky Mark Wahlberg. Uh, basically Indiana Jones. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books. Links in the description. Mm, excuse me. Uh, support the channel if you can. Give me an upvote. Tell your friends. Um... So Uncharted, it doesn't look bad. I mean, it looks like the video game. It looks it looks cool. Um, I didn't play the video game, but I knew it had more than a, a small story. I mean, it was a very story-driven uh, video game. But, uh, and, and you know, it had stuff in about the character's family and his brother. There was a whole brother thing going on. Um, and Mark Wahlberg's in it. I mean, really... Tom Holland would have been a perfect Indiana Jones replacement. There's Marky. Marky Mark. Uh, he would have been great as like a young Indy or new young Indy, grandson of Indy. I think he could have done grandson of Indy, right? Just start in a modern day. You know, maybe have Harrison Ford in a hospital somewhere or a home every once in a while he shows up. Makes a cameo in the first episode. But this is what this is. It's modern Indiana Jones. I mean, they're looking for treasure. You know, Antonio Banderas, oddly enough, plays the villain. He's also playing the villain in Indiana Jones 5. So isn't that weird, huh? He's like more of a villain guy. Is it because he has an accent? You know, or is it just because he's older now and he doesn't get to play the good guy? Um, but Marky Mark, still looking good. So it all looks fine. I mean, you know... It's got stuff from the video game. This was a bit from the video game. Like you get pushed out of the plane and you have to climb over the bags that are falling out of the plane. And then, you know, stuff happens. So the question is, is this going to be a good story? Are you going to be, and here's like a car knocking him out. Is this going to be a good story? Or is this going to be uh, a video game. Now it's coming out in February. That's not a good sign. That's the dumping grounds for bad movies. But we're not in a regular movie timeline anymore, so maybe, maybe it'll be okay. I mean, I do like Tom Holland. There's, there's the, uh, uh, the what's the name? The, the video game, I guess. Various characters from back. I mean, Tom Holland's a good Spider Man. I, I would hate to see him leave. Uh, the Spider-Man franchise. I guess these are all the side characters, the diverse team that had to be added uh, in order to for Hollywood to agree to make it. But um, Tom Holland, I mean, one of the reasons he's good, he's the perfect generic guy, right? He's not too handsome. He's handsome enough. He is like, he could blend in a lot of different, so in a lot of ways, he's the ultimate actor, right? He's got a very sort of generic face. Um, you can put a mustache on him or a beard or you can put gray in his head. I mean, you can do a lot with that face. Like Marky Mark has a very distinct look to him. Tom Holland kind of blends in, which is why he made such a good Peter Parker. He looked like an average kid and he looks very young. So even in this, he still sort of has that look, but they could, you know, make him a little older and slicker by, you know, his clothes or whatever. He's really kind of perfect in that way. Um... So, yeah, I mean, I'm sure this will be fine. It, it doesn't really compel me to watch it. You know, the story's not compelling me. I just like watching Tom Holland do his shtick, you know. He's got good a good sense of tom, uh, timing. I like Marky Mark, too, but not as much. He's, he's like a more of a meaner version, a little, little, little bit more of an edge. He's a little bit more full of himself. I think he's taking a back seat in this movie. He's more of a supporting guy. Um, and Antonio Banderas is just going to be the evil guy with an accent. You know, Tom is going to be the one who's like, oh, I've got, I got to figure out all the clues and save my brother and get the treasure and get the girl. You know, Marky Mark would have been that guy, but he's not that guy anymore. So I think it'll be okay. You know, I'm not super excited about it. I mean, if I played the video game, I'd probably already know the ending. So I don't know if you did, if you did... Say something in the comments. You know, how does this compare? It looks like it compares to me from what I've seen in the video game. Um, would I see it? 
I don't think I'd go to the theater to see it unless unless people were raving about it and like, oh my God, you got to see this. this is a crazy movie. I mean, you're kind of gonna expect whatever. You know, you're gonna expect this stuff. You're gonna expect all the scenes from the video game to be recreated, right? And I'm sure the fans will love that. You know, that's fan service there. Um, and the ring, I know, was an important factor in the game. So, and and I took, I specifically remember this scene where he gets sucked out of the plane. I mean, it's one of many. It's another one with a jeep, right, on a cliff somewhere. Um, so yeah, I mean, first act. Oh, I, I guess he's looking for his brother or whatever, because I don't know. He lost his brother, and his brother's looking for treasure. Maybe he doesn't totally believe him, and then. You know, he meets up with Marky Wall, Marky Marcus. Marky's his brother, because, like, I guess it's his older brother, right? So maybe Marky's his brother. They don't look like brothers. I guess they look enough. And um, they end up going to thing to go get treasure, and Antonio Banderas wants to stop him, and then he either kills Marky Mark or injures him, and then they get the treasure, and he gets the girl the end. So... Um, I don't know. I'm not as excited by all this stuff because it usually doesn't feel all that real. You know? Like, if you did it and it was based on some real historical thing, is this? It doesn't feel like it. There's, like, too many things going on. All these postcards all over the world. Um, feels like it's going to be one of these legendary treasures they made up for the movie or the video game. You know... If you, I liked it when it was more historical based. I mean, I'm a student of history, so maybe that's just me. Um, again, in terms of the intensity of this, eh, it's all right. I mean, maybe I'm numb to this stuff. I don't know. It looks okay. It looks like it's going to be at least fun, light, you know, a harmless movie. It's not going to be bogged down for, with politics. It's just going to be a fun movie with a guy trying to get the treasure. Yeah, I could be on board with that. So, uh, Uncharted. Coming February, um, February 18th, exclusively in movie theaters. In premium formats, exclusively in movie theaters. Oh, in premium formats. So I guess it's going to be one of these uh, uh, big giant screen dealies where you go, oh, whoa, you know, one of those things. Um, Okay. I mean, it'd be more of a ride than a movie, right? It's it's more of a roller coaster ride than a movie. Not knocking it. I could be up for that in February. I don't know. It's cold and winter. I don't know if I want to go out to see an exciting movie that takes place in the tropics. The dead of winter. Kind of usually in the mood for dreary movies then, but maybe. I don't know. This feels more like something I'll see when it's on a, a streaming platform, just to see if it was any good. Uncharted, starring Tom Holland. Uh, and that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. We have two other videos on uh, Rumble and BitChute today, so make sure you check them out. It's a news blast, and my video about the Batwoman TV show, not to be missed. I'll see you tomorrow.